Hello everybody, thank you for joining us today. We are thrilled to have you with us. This is our first refresh message this week. I'm Pastor Steve Green. Today is Wednesday, May 12th. We're talking about holiness today. Let's consider for a moment what exactly is holiness. I'm sure there are different ideas. Here's one good definition. It is to be fully aligned with the life-giving power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives life, as we'll see here in the scriptures in just a moment. Life flows, the abundant life flows from the Holy Spirit, and He is the Holy Spirit. And as our hearts are made holy, holiness is a heart condition, as our hearts are made holy, it puts us in line with the Holy Spirit, and His life-giving power flows in and through our hearts. So holiness is a tremendous thing. It is a great advantage to us. Let's observe in the scriptures how the Holy Spirit is associated with the life of God. In John 6, 63, this is one of my favorite verses, Jesus said, it is the Spirit who gives life. So that's a pretty simple, straightforward statement. The Spirit is the one who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are Spirit and they are life. So the Holy Spirit works in connection with with the words of Jesus. In Romans 8, 13, if you live according to the flesh, you will die, but if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. So once again, we see this life of God coming by way of the Holy Spirit. One more verse, Galatians 6 and verse 8, he that sows to the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he, but if by, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. So that's uh, a pretty constant theme in the scriptures that the Holy Spirit uh, is the source of the abundant life. The life of God comes by way of the Holy Spirit. When you and I are holy, we are al aligning ourselves with the Holy Spirit and therefore with His life-giving power. To be holy is to be clean separated, dedicated. Here's a good illustration. In an office there might be uh, any number of phone lines, but uh, this illustration is old, becoming a little bit outdated now, but uh, back in the olden days they used to have fax machines, and the fax machines would have a dedicated line. The fax machine would have its own phone number, separate, distinct from the other phone numbers in the office. So that would be a good illustration of separate, dedicated. The fax line is dedicated dedicated holiness is when we are separate, when we are dedicated to God's purpose in our life, and that is to have the life-changing uh, power of God working in us.